All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to set up Shopify conversion tracking in your Bing Ads account. So how to track Shopify conversions, uh, specifically transactions in your Bing Ads account. Um, Bing Ads was recently renamed to Microsoft Advertising, so it would now be referred to as your Microsoft Advertising account. I still use Bing Ads, Microsoft Advertising, it's the same exact thing. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is create a Microsoft Advertising account here. Um, so you can go to ads.microsoft.com, ads.bing.com. If you check out our recent Bing Ads tutorial, we go over how to set up an account and really how to get started with your first campaign. Um, but what we're gonna be going over today is how to set up conversion tracking. So you're in your account here. What you need to do first is click on conversion tracking here. So when you click on conversion tracking, it's gonna open a page that looks just like this. So conversion tracking, uh, it's gonna be for your account. And what you need to do is you create your universal event tracking tag, you add that code to your website, and then you create a conversion goal with Shopify. Now there's a couple other steps with Shopify here, but what you wanna do first is come into your universal event tracking tags page. Uh, so when you click here, it's gonna open up something that looks like this. So we just named this Shopify UET tag, and you can see right here, the tag is active on our website. We have a couple of goals created. Under action, what you wanna do is click on view tag here, copy your tag so we're going to copy it we're going to come over to shopify so you come into shopify you go to online store here and themes so down the left hand side of your shopify store online store and themes and then what you want to do is click on actions and you want to click on edit code so now what you want to do is open up your theme.liquid page so if you click on that it's going to it's automatically open right here but make sure you open your theme.liquid page and you want to come down you can see the closing header tag here. And as we scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see the closing body tag. Right above the closing body tag, you wanna enter that universal event tracking tag. So here's ours right here. All you need to do is just come right here, go down, copy and paste the tag right there, and then click on save. So it's that simple. You add the universal event tracking tag to your website first, you click on save. Now the next thing you need to do is make sure you add it to the checkout page as well. So when people are checking out that Bing ads can continue to track them through the checkout process. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna come into our settings. So you're gonna come stay in your Shopify store, click on settings down at the bottom left here. And then what you wanna do is click on checkout. So under settings and checkout, this is the next thing that you need to do. Okay, so you come to this page, you scroll down and you come all the way down to order processing. So what you wanna do is you're gonna see additional scripts here. So I'm just gonna open this up so you can see it easily. And this is where you're gonna enter your additional scripts. So you're gonna take your universal event tracking tag, the same one we just added to the theme, and you're gonna copy and paste it here. And then the next thing you wanna do is take this script and copy it right below your universal event tracking tag. So you can find this script on the Bing Ads page, so how to set up universal event tracking tags using Shopify. This is essentially a video version of this article here. Um, so really how to set everything up. So what you need to do is first paste your universal event tracking tag in that box on the checkout screen. So additional scripts, you enter it right here. And then you come over here and you can copy and paste this script. If you wanna exclude taxes and shipping, if you wanna include taxes and shipping, then you would copy and paste this script below. I just did exclude for Bing ads. So what I did is I copied this right here, came over here, pasted it right below it, and then you click on save. And now you have your universal event tracking tag added to Bing ads. So when you come back over to Bing ads here, you can see conversion tracking. The first thing is create your universal event tracking tag. We did that. We added the tracking code to our website. So if you come over to your universal event tracking tag page, you can see tag active right here. You can also use the Bing ads UET tag helper Chrome extension. Um, so we have one right at the top here. You can see UET tag helper. So you could just search that right into Google and you can find the Chrome extension and that will help you make sure that your tag is active on your page as well. Now, the last thing we wanna do is we wanna set up conversion tracking goals. So if we come back over to the conversion tracking page here, you can see UET tags. The next thing we wanna do is click on conversion goals. So we opened up our conversion goals page here and you can see we have our complete transaction Shopify conversion goal. It's showing one conversion and it's showing our revenue and it's showing repeat rate of just one. So what we wanna do is click on that. You can either click on edit um, so I can show you what it looks like or what you wanna do is click on create a conversion goal and the way you're gonna set it up is this destination URL, you can name it whatever you want. So I could just do Shopify sale, Shopify transaction, whatever you really wanna name it. Click on next, it's gonna say destination URL, please select, select a scenario. We're gonna do contains, so the webpage URL contains and we're gonna do thank underscore you. 
So it's really that simple. You're just gonna do it on this account. And then what we're gonna do with revenue value is you're gonna do conversion action value may vary, for example, by purchase price. So we're gonna click on that. And then what you wanna do is it's gonna say, if no value is assigned, what should the default value be? So this is where one thing you can use is just your average order value. So let's say the average order value on your website is $50. You can just come in here, do 50 US dollars. It's that simple. Count, you can do all. Um, you can choose unique as well. I just generally keep this as all because I want to count anybody who converts and purchases something on the website. Conversion window. So I'll usually increase this a little bit just in case someone does click on an advertisement. They end up not purchasing something for maybe a month or two and then they go back and purchasing it. I want to make sure I increase that conversion window. Um, this really depends on how long it usually takes for someone to buy a product from you. Now for conversion action value may vary. You just wanna make sure you enter the closest average order value to a normal order on your website. You can also change this over time if you find that let's say Bing Ads drives $75 sales on average or if it drives $35 sales. So that's really just up to your website and how much the products cost. So this is just if no value is assigned um, but the value should be assigned the way we set up everything. So we have, we'll just keep this as $35 per now just for the example. It's gonna use the universal event tracking tag that we set up, and it's gonna say, we will turn auto tagging of Microsoft Click ID on as it is required for UET conversion goals. So that's fine, just click on save. So now you're gonna have auto tagging automatically created once you create that conversion. And what that does is it allows you to track your campaigns directly into Google Analytics. So if I come over here to Google Analytics, you can see I go to acquisition, campaigns, all campaigns, so you're opened up in your Google Analytics account, and you can see right here, campaign, Bing, zero compression, back brace, Surfside PPC, so 26 users, 24 new users, 26 sessions. It's gonna show bounce rate, pages per session, average session duration, e-commerce conversion rate, and now it's showing this transaction here. Now revenue is a little bit different because it's including taxes and shipping, but that's fine. So if I come back over to my campaign screen here, you can see we have the campaign right here. We're looking at yesterday's data. We can scroll over, see 34 clicks it's showing, one conversion, revenue $49.95, and return on ad spend of $313 compared to the $15 in spend. So um, this is how you set up Bing Ads conversion tracking, and then you're able to optimize for conversions over time. As you continue to run your campaign and get more data about it, you wanna make sure you're using this enhanced CPC bidding strategy because that's gonna allow Bing Ads to increase or decrease your bids as they know more data about your campaigns because you are tracking for conversions. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.